everyone, welcome back to day 12 of the challenge of where I'm trying to make $500 as fast as I can for my woodworking business. So far today, what we are planning on doing is I have another custom order. As you guys know, we just sold one of the custom orders as well, $250, those three side tables. But we are going to be trying to make, put, make these three pieces, um, into, into, uh, legs, table legs for that tree cookie table for a client. But I don't know. It's, this one's going to be a, this one's going to be a test of my abilities, but we're hopefully going to make it work because you're going to be lots of chiseling and stuff like that. So here we go. Finishing up some um, epoxied stuff here. These are this is one of the bigger side tables, and this is one of the this is one of the smaller side tables, which that includes uh, just sanding off the drips here and finishing the other underside with. Uh good progress on this pro, uh, project so far as you can see we have we've got this guy just about right we just need to uh, continue shaving this down so we have a nice um, kind of fit there as you can see not looking too bad so far actually but then we got to deal with this piece here we got to figure out how to attach that or how to we got to get it right here but we will we will just keep trying and I'm just taking this process nice and slow because it's, uh, it's a bit tricky and I don't want to mess anything up, but I think we can get it. Here we go.
so as you can see here we didn't quite make we just have a little bit um to notch out here just yet we didn't quite go go high enough but it is starting to come together here just a few more cuts And hopefully we'll have it kind of together here. And then what we'll do is we'll, uh, we will just um, do a lot more sanding and, and chiseling to get all this uh, bark off. And then hopefully, yeah, coat it with... Uh, epoxy or something or but yeah so that's the end of day 12 thanks for watching and please subscribe we're still at 250 dollars but we're gonna give it another go tomorrow hey everyone welcome back to the channel it is day 13 now and we are now at 250 dollars and because we sold those three tables we're trying to get to 500 dollars as fast as we can but we're gonna just keep going here Thanks for watching and please subscribe. First up on the list, we're going to do some epoxy. So as you guys might remember, on our last video, we were working on these this uh, base for the tree cookie table, a custom order. So this is a custom base I'm kind of making here. And as you can see, it's coming along okay. What we gotta do here is we gotta make this this notch just a little bit deeper. Just cut away this a little bit. And then I think it should work. that task done didn't go as smoothly as I uh, thought it thought it was gonna go it was a little rough but this is the first time I've ever done this and I, I definitely should have done a bit more planning but we did get it we did get it on there and it's looking uh, pretty good actually we will just have to do some trimming at the end, but that's all right. We made this a little bit taller than we needed to, so that'll be good. And we might have to put in or do some carving and stuff in here just to get it um, looking maybe a little bit nicer. But I think we can make this 
work. If not, we can always restart. I got lots of willow branches out outside. So, or stuff like this. On the next task, which is we are going to be mounting that one or assembling that one table, getting that done. Okay everyone, it is day 14. Thanks for tuning back into the channel. We're at $250 still, but we're still working on some projects here. We're doing the challenge where we're trying to make $500 as fast as we can from woodworking. So as you see here, I got these two pieces glued up yesterday. But now we need to glue on this piece. Um, onto that. But yeah, so we're going to try to do that. wasn't that great, but we got it done. Uh, we'll have a, quite a few touch-ups to do, though, and stuff like that uh, at the end here. But anyways, we're on to the next task, which is I'm going to try to be using, remember, these are, these are the cutoffs from the, from when I was milling those logs, but I'm going to try to use them and make make a sort of like a flower box as maybe something that I could sell on the side in or just for at home even maybe just put these on the side uh, nail them on kind of a, a cool bark texture on the side but of the flower box but yeah we'll we'll see if we can make it work flower box here but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of these which are just slabs off from the milling that I did with the bandsaw to make that and I'm just gonna put these um, on here like 
like this. Um, yeah. Just like... just about able to finish it all we had was one piece here we need to get a couple more pieces just to finish this this side those pieces are uh, a little too short over there but yeah overall it's not going too bad um, I think it's actually looking uh, pretty decent a little bit maybe one a little deep but uh, for the flower box, but it's all right. Uh, I didn't want to have to cut too much off of these because they would have been wasted anyways, right? But yeah, thanks for watching. Day third, uh, day fourteen, and we're still at two hundred fifty dollars, but we're gonna keep going tomorrow. See ya. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Or the challenge, I guess you could say. We are on day 15 of the challenge where I'm trying to make $500 as fast as I can from woodworking. Um, as you know, I'm just a 16 year old here that is in central Alberta, trying to run a little woodworking business while I'm at school and stuff like that. But today we are going to be finishing this, as you see, during the glue up, Got quite a big rock there. We're gonna have to uh, cut some. Try to do one nice cut here. Make sure it's all, all uh, straight and whatnot. All the legs fit or er, sit nice. And then we also are gonna be doing some chiseling and stuff like that on it. But we also did get another custom order, and we'll talk about that later. Here we go. some bad news with that uh, tree cookie stand uh, I messed up on the cut for it and I was just off by a little bit but we we're getting I knew already that we were gonna be close to the the height requirements for it and uh, with the one piece with how small it was at the beginning so but yeah it's it's done it's too small now to keep trying to more cuts and stuff like that which it's all right i kind of knew i'll show you some other pro problems with it just so you guys can see uh yeah so here's one problem is these gaps here just trying to mesh this whole thing up with um, just trying to mesh this whole thing together 
I just knew that, like, these gaps, it's, it was going to be hard to, uh, to shape that and make it all look kind of natural. So I'm kind of happy, honestly, that that project's garbage. But here we go. It's all right. It's all right. Because I went through for a little walk in the bush, and I found this piece. See, this piece is already one nice piece, and I basically all I need to do is do two cuts, hopefully just with the chainsaw here, and those that will be a perfect base for this. And I think it will honestly look maybe a lot better too, and be, uh, yeah. Because that is one tree, tree trunk sort of thing. And that was just kind of pieced together. But anyways, on a good note, we are still happy, I guess, um, here. But also, we will be starting on another custom order. We have a big custom order here for uh, a five-foot bench with a uh, with, uh, base and everything. And it's about 18 to 20 inches wide. So that's why I brought in this guy to dry. It has to dry for a little bit, just to get the snow. Even though it's been drying for about two years now, I'm just gonna leave it in here, let it dry out for, for maybe a couple days. But also, we also did get done this and we're gonna also use this board that we have up. And that board, biscuit joining them together. This is already five feet or a little bit longer. So that will be kind of how big this thing will be. Two of these together. So it's gonna be quite a big thing, $300, $320 order. But yeah. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna also finish up uh, some, but yeah, that's gonna be to come. But we're also just gonna do a quick coat of epoxy, just finish up some more stuff in that and hopefully get those for sale soon too. And yeah, I'm sorry guys, I didn't really get my very much done today. I messed up on that project and uh, yeah, I just think it's better. I'm a little bit uh, mad about that, I guess, even though I did say I was happy, but still you're always a little bit mad. You know, you got pretty far on that, but I'm gonna start that thing tomorrow, hopefully, and let this dry out for a couple days and then we'll get started on that mega build. Thanks for watching and we're gonna do some epoxy here. Uh, yeah. I did also just have, get some bad news today about the car. The front brakes are are all worn out. Gotta replace the front brakes. And that's gonna be about $800. 800 to $1,000. So that's not too good, but we gotta prepare for these things, right? So that's why we're gonna really try to go very hard in the wood shop here and uh, get some stuff done. But thanks for watching and please subscribe. Hey everyone, welcome back to the challenge or the channel, I guess you could say. Um, we're still going strong on that. We're trying to make $500 as fast as we can from woodworking here. As you know, I have my own little woodworking business here. And right now, it is pretty cold out. I know it is sunny, but it still is pretty cold, but we're gonna still try to do what we can here. So on the agenda for today, we are going to be starting that glue up for the one table, that custom bench thing. So that means we're gonna have to glue this guy up. Got this, glue this guy up. I am borrowing some clamps from my grandpa so we can get that done. 
Also, as you know, these... Uh, this isn't very straight here, the edge, so we're going to have to make a track saw sort of thing for, for our, with the, for the skill saw here. And then after that, we are going to be cutting this guy to size and getting it ready for that tree cookie table. This is going to be the base. So lots going on here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and enjoy the video. We're starting to run into some uh, difficulties here. This is a uh, this is a bit more solid piece of poplar, and it's it's gonna, it's struggling the planer bit. So we're gonna have to figure that out, and we gotta get it down probably another another half inch till it's the size of this other guy. So here we go, and hopefully we can. Uh, make Okay everyone, so we're running into a bit of a a bit of a problem here with this piece of wood. Uh so this piece of wood has been sitting sitting outside for about nine months, I guess, after it was milled. But I thought it would be good by now, but it is actually uh, because it is, this was the center piece of the log. As you can see, we have a little bit of heartwood right here. This was the center piece and it was cut thicker than the other ones. The other ones were all cut at an inch and a half and this one was cut at two inches. So because I thought it would be dry, but because of that, and that it just snowed and I took it out and it's just been sitting in here. See, here's another thing that I think happened was we had snow and then it melted quite a bit, melted off the, off the wood piles, but this was on the top, which I think then it absorbed quite a bit of that water that was on top there. And so it's still kind of trying to dry from that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it in the house for a couple of days here by the register. It's pretty dry in there and whatever. We're just going to try to speed uh, speed dry this again. I think it was dry during the summer for sure. And then it just kind of that last melting pe period. Because right now it's reading about 13, 13, 11%. Uh, so... That's a little little high for, I think, what we're supposed to be doing here. So I'll just leave it in the house for one day, or maybe two. Check it from there. So it's a bit of uh, uh, frustrating, but we're just going to have to keep going here.
the so that board that we just planed that's for the legs for that big project but here's what we're up to so far with the uh, tree base tree cookie base it's actually looking pretty good um, we do ha this is gonna be the rough shape I know it's rough but we're gonna we're gonna and it's not completely level but it's decent but we're gonna plane the top of this here with the power planer power hand planer and and then we'll get once we get that done and make sure it's all level then we'll start with doing then we'll start with uh done leveling the base now and I think it's turned out really good it's pretty uh, pretty solid and it's just I think it turned out a lot better looking and natural looking than this than this piece of junk so yeah that's what it's looking like this is willow tree and it's really a hard wood. So that's why it was quite tough for me to, to, uh, to, uh, to cut with the chainsaw. And that's just a little electric chainsaw. So, yeah. So I think that's going to be the end for today. We're going to do a epoxy coat as well. But, and we're going to get a really good start on tomorrow. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. We're still at $250, but we're still going to go strong. Um, so we are currently going to be, today is day 17 and we're still at $250, but today we are currently going to be putting this piece and this piece together but first before we do that we have to put a straight edge on that and a straight edge we're going to cut this guy to size and we've still got quite a bit more planing to do it is a lot drier now that i brought it into the house than it was before so that's good and yeah so we're just gonna focus on that first getting this all biscuit jointed together and then hopefully work on the legs and also work on the legs, that stump thing for the tree cookie table. Thanks for tuning in and please subscribe. So we got that piece, the pieces all cut up, straight edge on them, fairly straight at least. It was a pretty good little jig actually. But the goal now, we have to plane this. We have to take off about probably another half inch off this bigger piece to make it the same, the same height or width as that piece over there. But the goal with planing, which that's, a, that's kind of a good thing. I know it's gonna be a lot on the little planer, but uh, at least it's a little bit smaller now, a little bit drier too. So, but w the goal is, is to take out this core, take out what we can from that. And to also take out 
what we can of this notch here. And then if we do that, I think this will be a pretty nice piece of wood. And we'll, we'll do good. Here we go. Okay guys, so we started to run into some problems. First of all, my planer stopped, um, the belt keeps coming off for some reason. So I'm gonna have to fix that. I tried to tinker around for it for about an hour and try to fix it. it kept just popping off, popping off. So that was bad. So then we had to go for, go to the hand planer for planing this and then now it, and then that kind of was hard to get straight I probably shouldn't have done that but whatever and then I decided to do the glue up which then some of the pieces got uh, because it wasn't perfectly flat with the hand planer because you got to do like five passes the whole to get the whole thing um some of them were maybe at a little bit of an angle see as you've seen here it was a very not a very good glue up i still don't know if i'm going to use this or is it or if it's soluble uh let me know in the comments you see there is a little gap uh, somewhere but then on this side on this other side here on this other side it is completely sealed a very good glue up on this side but that's because uh, cause it wasn't on as much of an angle. So yeah, that is a bit of an issue. But then another thing we're going to maybe try to do is maybe put just a little bit of epoxy in here. Just make sure that a crack is good just some white epoxy or something maybe that will be an option then you won't be able to notice it as much that's going to be the end of the video thanks for watching day i think it's 17 now see ya hey everyone welcome back to the channel a woodworking journey it's jesse here and uh we are going to be continuing with this challenge of making 500 dollars as fast as i can here for my little woodworking business but we, today we are going to be working on finishing up this top for the bench and also um, making legs for that bench as well and hopefully maybe doing some other stuff. So stay tuned and please subscribe. Here we go.
so it's actually a pretty nice warm day today and uh, I'm out here on a t-shirt in uh, March so that's pretty nice but this is the I think we got it down uh, it's looking pretty good now I think we revived this and uh, yeah now it's time to epoxy this thing so that's that's nice to see now now we're gonna start working on the legs so here we go we're just doing simple uh like two rectangles boxes and then a shelf underneath so here we go Okay guys, so that's gonna be it then for today. We got a decent start on the bench, at least the top's done now, and that's ready to epoxy. But then we're just gonna finish up this bench legs tomorrow, and yeah, and we'll basically be done, and then we'll just keep working on that little tree cookie table. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe and check out my other videos. We're also gonna start epoxying today. So, see ya.